Good morning, guys. November the 6th. And you're watching another Macron Sports video. And it's Kentucky Duke. We're back. College basketball is back. Game day is today. Got a, we're going to have a vlog going. Let's go beat Duke. A lot of expectations on the year. Let's win this game. First game, Michigan State, Kansas. That's going to be fun. And the nightcap, we know that's going to be fun. Duke, Kentucky. Let's go. <laughs> Jones' brother, Trey Jones, hits a three to start the game. Keldon Johnson gets it. A little take from Hero. Goes back to Johnson. Johnson attacks the rim. Finishes with the right hand to make it 3-2. First basket and first bucket of the season for the Cats. All right, screen here. Jones' brother passes to Barrett. Barrett's off the mark. Big rebound by Hero. Tyler Hero pushes it up in transition. He finds Johnson. Johnson with the pull-up. It's a long two, and he knocks it down to make it a three-point game. And the crowd of Kentucky fans go crazy. Another three for RJ Barrett. Kentucky's just not playing well. Not came to play tonight. We haven't hit a bucket for about five, six minutes. 32, 11. We have not hit one for five minutes and 41 seconds. That's horrible. They give a handoff to Keldon. Keldon attacks the rim. And we finally score. What do you know? Fantastic. We're only down by 19 now. whoop de dee How is this a foul on PJ Washington? His arm's the one that got held, and they're checking for a flagrant. That is embarrassing. Where's the foul? Maybe the Duke guy, maybe. PJ's hand got held, makes a one-handed rebound. That's a foul on PJ? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Literally, this is ridiculous. I mean, refs are horrible in college, but it's all going Duke's way right now. This is horrible. How is that a foul? 36 to 19. Still playing horrible. We're just standing on offense. We're not moving. Quade Green looks. Looks. Oh, nice. Pump fake. Travis, or Reed Travis goes up strong. and gets a foul and sends the Duke guy to the floor. Let's go, Reed. Bully him. Bully him down in the post. Let's go. They can't stand with you, Reed. You're the only player who's decided to come and play tonight. Look at this. Watch Quade Green here. He's going to take it to his left. All right. He's going to look. No look. Boom. One dribble by Reed, goes up strong, gets an M1. I mean, it's halftime, and I'm still waiting for Kentucky to, like, did we tip off? I mean, tip off was 9.58. Did we tip off? Oh, I feel like we're still in the locker room. Yeah. That was horrendous. Horrendous, dude. Horrendous. 
We're down by 17 at the end of the first half. Yeah. Zion's pretty good. RJ's pretty good. Cam Reddish, pretty good. I mean, I, I, I think we're going to be fine. Second, We still got a second half to play. Um, I saw this in the Kentucky-West Virginia game last year. Same predicament. You're down by 17. Boom. Kevin Knox, Shea Gilgis-Alexander, take over leadership. Kevin Knox balled out in the second half. Won us the game. Who is going to be that leader in the second half? I'm thinking Reed Travis because he's been the only guy that's decided to play. You got to stop the ball in transition. You got to show some urgency. You got to play with some heart because that's what we're not playing with. Reed Travis is the only guy that's came to play today. Everyone else is still sitting in their dorm room all the way back in Lexington. Hey, guess what? We're in Indianapolis playing a basketball game. Let's get our act together and let's go in, like just go play a good second half because that was horrendous. I mean, Kentucky's not even came to play tonight. I mean, as you can tell by the scoreboard, they've just been out muscled. Tyler Hero puts one up from deep. He gets one to go. 103 76. But this game's way over, and it's been over since the start. 34 points Duke's going to win by. Horrible. There goes the buzzer. That's got to be a wake up call. There's just no highlights to put in for Kentucky. It was just horrible. Zion had a good game. RJ had a good game. Everyone did. He just did not show up. 34 points. Wow. Game wrapped up. Uh, Duke won by 34. Definitely did not see that coming. Congrats to Duke. Um, yeah, they look like they're ready to go. Good season for them. They're ready to play. It looks like they're already in March form. They played this well. And I mean, it's not even close to March yet. So... Kentucky, that is the worst loss under Calipari's era. I was actually at the other one. We lost by 30 to Tennessee. I was there. We went to the NIT that year. We just lost by 34 points. 34 points. You just got bullied in every aspect of the game. We had two guys show up tonight. Keldon Johnson, who finished with 23, and Reed Travis with 22. You got out-rebounded on the offensive end by 10 more boards. You, it, it wasn't a good team performance. Defense has got to be a factor. Duke just got whatever they wanted. They drove to the hole. They could kick out. They could shoot whenever they wanted. You gave up, I think, 118 points to them. That can't happen if, I mean, you have Southern Illinois on Friday night. Let's get a win and then start rolling. But this, the performance, that's just not good enough. I stayed up. I'm so tired. My eyes are bloodshot. I'm extremely tired. That was a waste of time, Kentucky. You had a bunch of freshmen who looked like they were not ready to play. It's going to be a long year. It's going to be a fun one. I believe in this team. You don't win a national championship on November 6th. You win it in late April. We got a long way to go.